Have you ever wondered what makes people who enjoy being alone so unique? While most people crave social interaction, there's a special group of individuals who find strength, peace, and even power in solitude. But what if I told you that these loners possess extraordinary qualities that not only set them apart, but often make them more successful, creative, and emotionally intelligent? You may be an introvert, someone who feels recharged by spending time away from the noise of the world. But often, introverts face misconceptions. Some people think that because you like to be alone, you're antisocial or awkward. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, people who enjoy solitude have a set of unique, remarkable traits that make them not only interesting but also deeply capable and strong. In this video, we will learn about 10 special traits that people who enjoy their own company naturally develop. Beware of these traits because they might not just surprise you, but could also change the way you think about being alone. Now let's get straight into it. Number one, they master their time. Time is something we all have, but for people who like being alone, it's more than just a passing resource. It's a precious commodity. Solitary people understand that time is finite and they treat it with the respect it deserves. When you prefer your own company, you become highly selective about how you spend your time. Whether it's reading, creating, or simply reflecting, you use your alone time to engage in activities that are meaningful to you. This deep appreciation for time doesn't just apply to their own schedule. People who enjoy solitude extend that same respect to others. They understand that time is valuable for everyone, which is why they rarely ask for help unless absolutely necessary. They don't waste your time with small talk or superficial interactions, but when they do engage, it's always intentional and thoughtful. Their respect for time, both theirs and yours, makes them incredibly dependable and considerate in personal and professional settings. Number two, they are driven by passion, not approval. When it comes to setting and pursuing goals, solitary people are laser focused. They are often intrinsically motivated, meaning they don't seek external validation or approval. Unlike those who chase success to impress others or to gain recognition, solitary people pursue their passions simply because they love what they do. This intrinsic motivation allows them to remain deeply committed to their goals, even in the absence of praise or attention. What's remarkable about this kind of drive is how consistent it is. These individuals aren't motivated by fleeting trends or the approval of others. Instead, their goals are rooted in their personal values and interests. This means they don't burn out easily, as they're not chasing after something just to keep up with the crowd. Their work is driven by genuine passion, which often leads to more profound and long-lasting success. In fact, solitary people often go above and beyond in their pursuits because their focus is not diluted by external distractions. This self-contained determination can lead to extraordinary achievements, and all without the need for applause. Number three, they are silent but great communicators. It's often said that introverts are better listeners than talkers, and while that might be true, it doesn't mean they aren't skilled communicators. In fact, people who enjoy solitude are often exceptional at conveying complex ideas. They don't speak often, but when they do, their words are thoughtful and impactful. This is because they spend a lot of time reflecting on what they've observed or experienced. When they share their thoughts, those around them can expect insights that are deeply considered. Solitary people also tend to excel in writing. Because they spend so much time alone, they often develop an affinity for reading and writing activities that naturally enhance their communication skills. They take the time to organize their thoughts and expand on ideas, making it easier for others to understand even the most complicated subjects. Their communication style may be quiet and measured, but it's always impactful. Another important trait is that solitary people often avoid unnecessary conversation. They don't feel the need to fill every silence, and when they do speak, they add value to the conversation. This ability to communicate only what's essential can be refreshing in a world that's often overwhelmed by noise. Number four, they succeed in silence. For many people, silence can be uncomfortable, even unsettling. They rush to fill it with conversation or background noise. But for those who enjoy solitude, silence is their natural habitat. It's where they feel most at peace and most themselves. Instead of feeling the pressure to talk or engage constantly, they're perfectly content to sit with their thoughts, explore their ideas, or simply enjoy the stillness of the moment. 
This comfort with silence extends beyond their time alone. In social situations, solitary individuals are often unfazed by lulls in conversation. They don't rush to fill the silence with idle chatter, which makes them excellent at engaging in meaningful interactions rather than shallow ones. Silence, to them, is not awkward but a chance to reflect or listen more deeply. Thriving in silence also means that solitary people are more comfortable in their own skin. They don't need external stimulation to feel fulfilled, and this gives them a sense of inner calm and stability that others might envy. This ability to find peace in quiet moments makes them more resilient to the distractions and pressures of the outside world. Number five, they are good observers. One of the most underrated qualities of people who enjoy being alone is their heightened sense of observation. Because they spend a lot of time in quiet reflection, they develop a keen eye for detail. Whether it's noticing the small changes in someone's appearance, the subtle emotions in a person's voice, or the way the world shifts around them, solitary individuals are always paying attention. This talent for observation makes them incredibly insightful. They often pick up on patterns, behaviors, and nuances that others miss. In social situations, they may seem like they're standing on the sidelines, but in reality, they're quietly absorbing information, noticing things that others don't. This spectator mentality allows them to develop a deeper understanding of human nature and the world around them. This observational skill also lends itself to creativity and innovation. Solitary people often have a wealth of untapped knowledge because they take the time to truly see and understand the world. This ability to step back, observe, and reflect makes them invaluable problem solvers and critical thinkers. Number six, they are self-sufficient. While many people thrive in team environments, solitary individuals often work best on their own. They have an incredible sense of self-sufficiency that allows them to excel without constant guidance or collaboration. When left to their own devices, they can produce exceptional work, often going above and beyond what's expected. This self-sufficiency doesn't mean they dislike people or avoid working with others. It simply means that they don't rely on external validation or support to get the job done. They know how to set goals, stay disciplined, and work toward those goals without needing a team to motivate them. Their independence is one of their greatest strengths, allowing them to be highly productive and innovative when given the freedom to work alone. Self-sufficient individuals are also great at problem solving. They don't need to lean on others to figure things out. Instead, they use their time in solitude to think through challenges and come up with solutions on their own. This makes them incredibly reliable in both personal and professional settings. Number seven, they prioritize their privacy. In a world where oversharing is the norm, solitary people stand out as the ultimate protectors of privacy. They don't feel the need to broadcast their lives to the world, nor do they pry into the personal affairs of others. Privacy to them is sacred, and they extend the same respect to the people they care about. Because they value their own privacy so highly, Solitary people are some of the most trustworthy individuals you'll ever meet. If you share a secret with them, you can be sure it will remain just that. A secret. They have no interest in using your personal information for gossip or gain. Instead, they're more focused on preserving trust and loyalty in their relationships. This respect for privacy also means that solitary individuals tend to form deeper, more meaningful connections. They don't share their lives with just anyone. And when they do let someone in, it's because that person has earned their trust. Their relationships might be fewer in number, but they are far richer in quality. Number eight, they prefer deep connections, not many connections. It's a common misconception that people who prefer to be alone don't form strong relationships. In reality, they often build deeper connections than most. While solitary individuals may not have a vast social network, the relationships they do have are incredibly meaningful. They prioritize quality over quantity and invest their energy into friendships and partnerships that truly matter. What sets them apart is their ability to nurture long-lasting relationships. They're not interested in fleeting interactions or surface-level friendships. Instead, they focus on building strong bonds with people who understand and appreciate them. This often results in lifelong friendships that are built on trust, loyalty, and mutual respect. Because they're not constantly seeking validation from others, solitary people are incredibly self-sufficient in relationships. 
They don't need constant attention or reassurance from their friends and partners, which can make them easygoing and low-maintenance companions. In return, they offer deep loyalty and a genuine connection that's hard to find elsewhere. Number nine, they are good listeners. In a world full of noise, people who like to be alone stand out as exceptional listeners. They don't just hear what you're saying. They actively listen, absorbing every word and empathizing with your feelings. This ability to listen deeply and thoughtfully makes them some of the best friends and partners you could ask for. Solitary people know the value of a well-timed comment or gesture. They don't interrupt or dominate conversations. Instead, they listen patiently and respond in a way that makes you feel truly understood. Their highly tuned listening skills mean they can offer support and advice that's both thoughtful and helpful. What really sets them apart, though, is their ability to listen without judgment. They're not quick to offer solutions or rush to conclusions. Instead, they give you the space to share your thoughts and feelings without feeling pressured. This makes them invaluable confidants and friends. Number 10, they lead from behind the scenes. While they may not seek the spotlight, people who enjoy solitude often make excellent leaders. Their leadership style is different from the loud, extroverted approach we typically associate with leadership. Instead, solitary leaders lead by example. They don't need to be the center of attention to get things done. Instead, they focus on doing high-quality work and motivating their teams through quiet dedication. What makes them effective leaders is their ability to empathize with their team members and give credit where it's due. They're not interested in taking all the glory for themselves. Instead, they uplift the people around them and make sure their team feels valued. This selfless leadership style earns them the respect of their peers and motivates their team to work harder. Their preference for working behind the scenes doesn't mean they shy away from responsibility. In fact, solitary leaders often excel in high-pressure situations because they're used to working independently and thinking critically. They may not be the loudest voice in the room, but when it comes to getting the job done, they are some of the most effective leaders you'll find. They may not always be understood by the wider world, but their strengths make them incredibly unique and capable. Which trait do you feel I missed out? Share with us down in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe because there's more incredible content on the way. Stay blessed.